Good evening, folks. Dr. Freedom here with the Times from Dr. News. News will astound you, confound you, reround you, and make you spin. Baby, right, round, baby, right, right, round. Oh, sorry. I don't want to get copyright struck for my crap. Oh, well, my singing is crappy. But a lot of weird stuff going on down there in Penarth, down in Wales. Uh, and I, I'm just loving the fact that for some reason... A certain cabal of YouTubers, or YouTubers who, I'll say, I usually just call them the Legion of Dumb. You know, they're kind of like this, it's just, I can't believe the things they're spouting. And the worst part is, there are sites that are picking up on printing this crap. And we're going to talk about that a little further in a couple minutes. Now, some particular villains were back in the day, well, not all the way back in the classic, we're talking back in the Moffat era, have, re have resurfaced. I am warning you now. Spoiler alert, so if you don't, you know, I'm going to try not to put this in the title of the video. I probably already did, so it's probably too late. But I'm warning you now, you may not want to go any further, because we're going to go into this. Let's take a look now. Let's hit it. And here's the money shot, kids, as we said back in the day. Weeping Angels are, has been spotted in Cardiff. Weeping Angel from Doctor Who was spotted during the filming in Neptune Court in Vanguard Way in Cardiff last night. Now, if you go down here and click on this particular tweet, it takes you over to here. There's no doubt that is definitely a weeping angel. So interesting. We've now got the Santarans, the weeping angels, and who knows what else showing up for this episode of Dr. Who. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not supposed to look at that. Oh, wait. Get off that. All right. So interesting. That, you know, along with everything else, this has now popped up. All right, let's keep moving, shall we? All right, I'm on the wrong thing. You know. All right, there we go. Jody Whitaker and Mandy Gill filming in Cardiff, and this also happened. Oh, by the way, folks, uh, there's some. if you go click here, here's some really, really good shots of the Santarans. Right. Look at that. Hi, Chris. Qual Look at that uniform, man. That's really nifty stuff going on there. I lo I'm loving the helmets. And there's some, you know, pickup stuff there, yada, yada. And look, oh, look. Oh. Um, hey, Philip Morris. Um, didn't you tell a bunch... Uh, weren't you out on Twitter? And yes, I'm, I am referring to Philip Morris, who, by the way, rapidly does not agree with the current regime of Doctor Who. Uh, was telling people on his Twitter, and people have screen kept this, so this is real, that Jodie Whittaker was regenerating at the end of uh, Revolution of the Daleks, and it was confirmed. This is Series 13 filming, Philip. Uh, what are her and Yaz doing there if she regenerated at the end of the you know, special coming up? I can't believe that somebody like Philip Morris has bought into this crap. It, it seriously disturbs me. You know, I, I think, you know, given his accomplishments and all that, he would not sink to being as low. Also, you got some more linkage stuff here. So if you want to go check these out, all you have to do is go to this article over on Cold Box, this one here too, and all these tweets are linked up for you there. So I don't have to do it. <laughs> I just have to link up the article. And those links will be in the description box as usual. Why does she keep appearing? Hello, you. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not supposed to be looking at that. I'm too old to look at that. I was married. I'm not interested in that anymore. All right. Dr. Magazine number 559 coming out tomorrow. Um, Deshu 59 talks to Jody Whitaker, John Berman, and Chris Chibnall. At the, as the preview of the New Year episode, Dr. Revolution of the Daleks is coming up. Highlights of the issue include, here's some more stuff for you, and it will be on sale tomorrow for £6.99. And that, look at that lovely cover there. Look at that nice, beautiful shot there. All right, moving forward. One more shot here. Let's see if I can find it. Now, apparently this shot is in the upcoming Doctor Who magazine um, you know, for tomorrow. And <laughs> upcoming for tomorrow. Duh! All right, so there you go. Check it out. That's a nice, lovely shot of Jody apparently languishing in prison. You know, these are all up on my Dr. Freedom page. You know, if you look at that. Look at that shot. I still can't get over that. Look at the detail. And, of course, 
There's Jody. Oh, look at the helmet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at him again. I know he can't help it, man. It's so awesome, man. <laughs> and of course, we've already looked at that. All right, here we go. Yes, abandoned as Graham and Ryan furious with the doctor. Now, what the author is trying to say here is apparently Ryan and Graham are not too happy about the fact the doctor has never not yet reappeared after we last left her. They don't know that she's been in prison, and I think that's what they were getting at. Lovely shot of Jack here. Here we go. So that's what they're, the author is leaning towards. But get ready for this. This is the one that's going to blow your freaking minds. Jodie Whittaker pressured to leave Doctor Who because it's a sinking ship. Giant freaking robot printed this trash. I'm not kidding. Giant. I can't believe this. All right. Listen to this. <laughs> a new rumor from a YouTube personality calling themselves the rabbi from another planet. Next time you're writing an article, you may want to go investigate that person's YouTube channel and take a look at the long history of videos they've made with anti Jody and anti Chibble propaganda. Before you sit down and go, oh, maybe it'd be a good idea to actually believe this crap. Now, but get rid of this. So Jodie Whittaker's agent is calling her up and telling her to turn down any extensions and to turn down one of the highest paying jobs in British television because it's a sinking ship. Really? How freaking dumb do you people think we are? Just the fact they printed that headline. For one, you it's something you can't prove because you have no statement issued by the agent. You could be sued for this, numb nuts. Hello, keep dancing around with this crap. But of course they used it's a rumor to cover their little backsides. This is blatant libel. This is slander. This is a whole nine yards. I can't remember which one's printed, and I don't give a shit. Now, of course, they go in, but here's the thing. The, I have to give the article writer this much. The idea that Jodie Whittaker herself is to blame for the decline in viewership leads into a bad faith narrative and is far more likely a combination of issues regarding the show's writing quality and general interest in the property. Now, while a doctor was able to enjoy a healthy renaissance and starting in the mid-2000s, the allure and popularity seemed to die off shortly after David Tennant ended his run on the show. Following doctors all have their fans and were warmly received, but it's hard to argue the show was able to maintain its pop culture fervor for an extended period in the Matt, with Matt Smith in the role. Simply put, Doctor Who just isn't as popular anymore. The problem is, as I've been telling you for weeks, the show is now 15 years in. Even Supernatural is bowing out at season 15. Okay, it's you can only go to the well so often, so to speak. All right. And that's what they're trying to tell you here. So at least he's put in there, look, how can you sit there and say it's all Jodie Whittaker's fault? You see what I mean? Oh, it's just, look at this. Why did you even print this crap? Oh, but the fact that their very own behavior has become so childlike, it's beyond reprehend. Oh, I just, I'm losing track of monosyllabolic. I am going back to a simpler language. With less syllables, because my brain has boiled. All right, I'm getting out of here, folks, so please, watch out for stuff like this. They've been hitting the media, you know, like, they've been hitting different sites and all that, trying to push their agenda, and I'll tell you why. Because they lost. They, they threw it in against the man, they threw it against the woman in this case, and they lost. She's now in her third series, which means... She, there's a good chance she might be leaving at the end of series 13 because, you know, it would follow the three and out narrative, you know, the three and out, you know, pattern. I mean, that's been going on since the new show began, but face it, she's three years in. It's too late. It's over. Your little hissy fit has garnered you nothing. Doctor who's still on the air. It's still proceeding and people are still loving it. And that's, what's important. Uh, Oh, I'm getting out of here, folks, so please be very careful. COVID's still out there. I've gotten some bad news recently about COVID. It, does, it involves a member of my family, not the immediate family, but I don't want to go into too many details because, you know, I don't want to. It's a kind of a private thing. Um, 
I father-in-law from my first marriage, that much I can tell you. Um, my first wife's father passed away about two days ago, if memory serves. I believe it was Monday morning from COVID-19. So yeah, the threat's still out there. It's still real and it's still killing people. All I can say is, F you 2020. I can't wait till you're gone. Good night.